A birthday celebration ends in gunfire this weekend with two people dead and three others hurt. And today we learned the accused shooter was on electronic monitoring and has quite a lengthy rap sheet. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross digging into his past and what happened in the moments before the shots were fired. He joins us live, Jeremy. Well, Brad and Erica, a group had planned to go bowling. Instead, they opted to go to a friend's apartment complex, and that is where it just so happens the accused gunman lives as well. Some sort of argument broke out, according to police, and before the group could leave, he turned and prosecutors said he fired. <laughs> Victims on stretchers wheeled to ambulances in waiting. Early morning Saturday, officers responded to the sounds of gunfire at Pine and Washington. Prosecutors describe a birthday gathering in an Austin home where an argument turned vocal and eventually deadly. 39-year-old Timmy Jordan is accused of pulling a gun and firing 7 to 10 rounds at a group. Prosecutors say one of the victims who could legally carry a weapon shot back before dying from his injuries. Investigators say they later found Jordan wounded with a gun laying next to him. Police say five people were hit, all family members, two did not survive. The accused shooter was not related to the victims, but was later arrested with Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown saying police are all too familiar with him. One of the shootings this weekend was someone we had arrested for possessing an illegal gun. So this person is in that number and they're on electronic monitoring and they shoot, they're involved in a shooting that where six people are shot. And this person has seven felonies. Prior to the crime scene this weekend, Jordan, shown in this 2019 mug shot, was on electronic monitoring. He was scheduled for a court date later this month on a weapons charge from last year. He pleaded guilty to felon in possession of a firearm back in 2011. One of a handful of similar charges prosecutors say he's faced over the years dating back to 2002. They're out on the streets in our neighborhoods on electronic monitoring. W what are we doing? I mean, it's beyond frustrating. It's, it makes your blood boil. No electronic monitoring this particular time.